There may be a scenario where you need to blur a source in OBS Studio. In this video, we'll talk about blurring your face. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live streaming. Well, Christmas is here and all the cousins are in town and we were playing disc golf and it was a blast. But I have to tell you that walking into the Brandywine River mid-December to retrieve your horribly shanked Frisbee is absolutely a breathtaking experience, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought you'd enjoy that little story. Let's get started. We're going to install Stream Effects for OBS Studio. It is a plugin and it is absolutely solid and it is maintained on a regular basis and it's very good and very stable. So once you get here, I'll put a link in the description for you. Click the go to download button in the upper right hand corner. It'll take you to GitHub. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the GitHub page and select the installation files for your operating system. I have Windows and Windows may say, hey, I don't recognize this developer. He's not official or whatever, but you have nothing to worry about. This software is absolutely solid. Just go through the installation process, make sure that OBS is shut down, install it, and when you bring OBS back up, you're gonna notice some new filters that you can apply to your sources, and one of those filters is blur, and it's really cool. So let's go and check it out. Let's go into the face cam source here. I'll right click on it, select filters, gives me this window. I'm under the effect filters, I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and I'm gonna select blur, which is brand new with the Stream Effects plugin. So I'll select that, hit OK, and immediately it will blur that source. If I turn the slider up here in regards to size and just drag this window over just a little bit, you can see live what it's doing, okay? So there's a lot more under the hood than what meets the eye here because we've got a drop down for type, which reveals all these different types of filtering qualities. And upon making that selection, you've got all these subtypes to choose from. So I want to make sure I just give you a ballpark review of all these available filters so that you can see its effect. Cool, let's go. What I'm going to show you now is how to change the dimension of the blur area. And you can actually feather the edge of it. Watch this. This is cool. Go into face cam, right click, go into filters. We'll hit the plus. We'll go into blur. Hit OK. OK, so I'm going to select box. You could select anything you want. Dual filtering is also pretty aggressive. And I'm going to select that so that you can see what I'm doing. Subtype must be area. And I'm going to click Apply a Mask. And see this left edge, top edge, right edge? This is how you start to modify the blur area. So if I take this slider here and bring it to the right, the left becomes modifiable. See how my shoulder becomes unblurred there? Then I'm gonna do the top edge and bring that down. I'm gonna make this blur right over my mouth. Then I'll bring the right edge in so my right shoulder is viewable, okay? And you can see that edge is real sharp and noticeable, and we don't want that. The feather slider right here is awesome because it really makes that edge not very noticeable, which is really cool. All right, there it is. So my mouth is pretty much <laughs> invisible, so let me hit close. So as you can see, you could cuss. You could say something funky during your live stream and you want to modify it. You can literally turn your mouth off with this cool filter. Okay, let's move to the next one where we can provide an image to designate the blur shape. Let's go. We're here in Photoshop and I just want to demonstrate to you what images we're going to use to designate the blur area. The white here will be where it's blurred. I will also be testing to see if we can get a feathered effect with a subtle gradient to the, how the black meets the white. And then we'll try a different color. We'll use red dots as a way to designate it to see if it works as well. So let's first go back into OBS Studio and we will select apply a mask. We're in the filter blur. We're gonna apply a mask. We're gonna select image. We get the uh, image mask upload field. I'm gonna click browse and select the first one, which is the normal black and white graphic. And as you can see, it puts an oval shape right in front of my face, which is where I wanted it to fuzz out my face. But as you can see, it's got that hard edge and there's no feather parameter for using this mask. Okay, let's try adding this graphic and see if it actually uh, solves the issue. We'll go back in and we'll change it to the second image, which is what we want. And you know what? I think it actually works. Look at that. The edge is actually feathered, which is great. So there's your solution. If you want a feathered edge, just do that. Let's try a different color. We'll try these red dots now and see if that works. I'll go in, select the graphic, red dots, hit open. 
and lo and behold, red dots work. Okay, so you do have some flexibility on what you can apply in regards to different shapes for your blur effect. It's pretty cool. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a really weird effect. This is actually adding motion as a mask via a source. This is the animation right here. Right here we got a spiral graphic, black and white, looping. And uh, if we go back and turn on my graphic here, go into face cam, right click, go into filters, go back into blur. What I've done is I've selected the mask type of source. And then you designate what source that would be in this lower pull down and I just selected the spiral source. I wanna make two tips super clear here. Number one, you can't grab a source as a mask from another scene, it doesn't work. Number two, you wanna make sure that the media source is looping, but you don't wanna see it. So the best thing to do is sneak it underneath a full screen graphic underneath the blur effect. If you can't pull that off, you may have some trouble with it. And it's, man, is it weird, because you can increase the amount of blur that will occur in the white of the graphic and you can really begin to see it here if I hit close you can really see it but that doesn't really freak you out visually as much as when you turn it back a little bit where you sort of can't you can't notice it as much so when you back it out and you can't sort of visually catch the edges man it's it's like weird I don't know it's kind of freaky anyway that's cool let's say that you're a gamer and you're looking to leverage the power of OBS and filters to enhance your emotional state. Let's say you're in a game and you're getting angry and it, it does something like this. <laughs> so you can set up the filter to give that effect. You just go back into the face cam, go to filters, go back into the blur, I'll turn it back on, and you wanna select the type of box, subtype zoom, turn the size all the way to the right here, okay? And then you can experiment with your center X and center Y uh, it's purely up to you. You got all these weird options that affect where that blur is occurring. I kind of centered it up as best I could so that the rage would be pronounced sort of dead center, you know? Copy that and you're good to go. I'm willing to bet that in your brain you're thinking to yourself, come, come on, on Victor. Victor, how in the heck do you turn these on and off with a hotkey? There's just no way. You can only control scenes and sources with hotkeys. Well, well let, let me, me tell, tell you, you, there is a solution. It is the OBS filter hotkey Lewis script. And that is what we're talking about on the next video. I will see you over there, best wishes. Stay strong, keep fighting. Stay strong and keep fighting.